Hey guys, it's Madison Beer, and I am here today to show you my everyday skincare and makeup routine. The first thing that I do when I wake up is I immediately wash my face. I throw this on. And then this is my cleanser. I have struggled with my skin for the past three years, I would say. I never really had acne growing up in my teenage years. It kind of hit me when I was like 19 and 20, and I'm now almost 22, and my acne is just kind of starting to settle and go away. I used to have forehead acne all the time and really horrible cystic deep acne in my cheeks, and I was really insecure about it, and it just was like, I don't know. It could be like crippling, obviously, and you don't wanna put makeup on it because then it makes it feel and look worse, and it just was, it was bad, so I'm really glad that I found something that works for me. So the next step in my routine is a toner. I just got put onto this toner, my friend uses it, and it's the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer, and it just, it feels so good. You don't even have to use cotton pads with, with it, which I had no idea you could do. I thought using toner, you had to use a cotton pad, but you just put this one on, and I'm not kidding when I tell you, it feels like, I wanna say milk, but I don't know if that's like an appealing thing that you want on your skin, and it feels so nice. And then I feel like most people have one of these. I love it. I don't really know if it works or if it does anything, but I feel like it does. I think it kind of like deep puffs my face. I get pretty swollen. I eat a lot of like sushi and chips and salty things. So I get pretty swollen when I wake up. I also currently have this little surprise that's my friend. I also have to sometimes remind myself whenever I have a pimple, I'm like, you used to have, you couldn't, you couldn't even count the amount you had, so be grateful that it's just one now. So I feel like when I roll it, it might make it feel better. Maybe it's making it worse, but this some, does something to my brain that makes me think it feels better. Next up I do is my moisturizer. And I really like this moisturizer. It's like whipped and it comes out in this really cool, fancy schmancy way. It's interesting, you would think having acne would make you want to get into skincare, but it actually made me really scared of it because it would hurt and I would be terrified that it was gonna make it worse because sometimes it would and sometimes I would have a really bad reaction to something and then I would feel terrified to ever use anything again. So I kind of just stopped messing with it when I was going through that. And then I would say like quarantine. Mentally, I was kind of just going through a really tough time as I'm sure a lot of people were. And so it was kind of my way of spending time with myself at the end of the day and just like, I'll thank my body and my heart for working so hard and overtime every single day and um, I think skincare is a big part of that because I'm just like thanking my skin and my body for protecting me and just like it's it, it's cheesy I know but it definitely makes me feel better and I think that everyone should do things like that because they, they really can help boost your mental health. I'm gonna move on. This is my favorite facial spray in the entire world. I'm not even gonna try to butcher the name because I'm gonna fail miserably. So last step in my skincare routine, before we go into the makeup, which I'm excited about, um, is this La Mer Eye Concentrate Eye Cream. And this makes me feel so fancy whenever I use it because it has this little thingy. It really preps my skin for my makeup. And I like when my skin feels really clean and ready to go. And I feel like my makeup sits on my face a lot better. Sad moment, I take off my cute little headband, which I miss the moment it comes off my head. First step of my makeup routine, which this is a very, very new thing I've initiated into my makeup. I've not always done this and I'm obsessed with it. I used to have really out of control eyebrows. So I started waxing them and I immediately made them way too thin for my own good. And then I started letting them grow out because any makeup artist I would work with would always be like, you have such great eyebrows, let them grow out. So I let them grow out and now, this amazing trend of soap brows, which whoever came up with that is genius. It's literally a block of soap. Take a spoolie brush and you really get soap in there. Just brush through your eyebrows. And again, I don't know if I did this right, but I really like the way that it looks. And now I'm really into the soap brows. I don't really use foundation technically, it's a skin tint is what it's called. It's supposed to just even out your skin tone. Um, I actually really like the way it looks. Also, yes, I know I aggressively beat my face when I'm doing this, but. Okay, so next up is 
the Lord and Savior of concealers, which is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've been using these forever, and I feel like I just started getting into makeup a bit more in the last like two years. I just never thought I was good at it, to be honest with you. And I used to have eyelash extensions, and I used to just not really care to wear makeup because that felt makeup y to me enough. So I didn't really wear any makeup. I actually, 99 to be completely honest, 99% of my days I don't wear any makeup at all. I'm just too lazy to be frank. But when I'm in the mood and I have time to do like a full, full face, I will because I, I, like, I like doing makeup. That was custard. And then I used ginger as well. I use it for like more just covering my spots. And then I took a beauty blender and just blend that all in. I think my pimples are usually male. I refer to a lot of things as she, these are he's. Okay, so now that I have the concealer on, which I'm gonna have to accept this guy for what he is, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, I think they're called glow sticks, contour wands. I use it very sparingly because it a little goes a long way. So that's my cream contour. So I start with all cream-based products first. Again, this might be criminal and really wrong to do it this way, but this is the way that works for me. So this is the way that I do it. My favorite product in makeup, period, is blush. This is my favorite blush ever. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Blush. I put a lot of this stuff on and People always ask me if there was one makeup product you could only use for the rest of your life, it would 100% be this. I don't care if I had pimples and no concealer, I would use blush no matter what. And I know it looks like a lot, just please bear with me. I also completely blush up my nose, like I'm a cartoon character. It gives me happiness. So now I'm gonna go in with powder. Weird order of operations is about to go down, just warning everybody. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder, and I'm gonna just try to make that guy as chilled out as possible, even though it might not be possible. And I also only really powder under my eyes and in like my T-zone. So now I'm moving on to my bronzer, and I'm using the one and only Fenty Beauty, my queen, Rihanna's bronzer. And you can see how filthy this is. I would use it all the time, and I'm just gonna go in Lightly, this is in the shade Private Island. Shout out to Ree for making the best makeup ever. And I don't really ever nose contour because again, fearful of the unknown. I have no idea what I'm doing ever when it comes to that. But again, this is something my makeup artist has given me confidence over the past few years to be able to do. I do it very, very lightly um, because it still does scare me. I use a brush like this and I just will get in there and I'll just do a tiny, tiny bit on either side of my nose and I will look very awkward and concentrated while I do so. And then I think it was Kim Kardashian I saw do this one time and it blew my mind. Keeping it in the family, we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty blush, which is in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. This is the best blush ever and you can never have too much blush in my world. So I just throw it on and I just make it as obnoxiously blushy as possible without looking too crazy. It's been really awesome to watch how much makeup has developed. I think that like, especially with TikTok, there are so many people I see that get so unbelievably creative with the things they do. So the next step is my beloved Morphe Madison Beer Palette. So I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade and social media obviously is a great place that I think there has been an overflow of creativity and positivity. And I think that it's brought a lot of people together who wouldn't have been brought together otherwise, but there also is a really tough part of it. I have had to take a lot of breaks off it. Sometimes I don't post for months at a time and I will not even go on it for a while because it has a really bad effect on me. So I'm using this shade in my palette, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this one as well, and I'm just mixing the two, and I'm going just into the crease of my eyes right here, and I'm using, I go, I keep going back in with this lighter shade just to throw it in the corner of my eye in the middle. So I've been using this MAC 
224 brush since I was in sixth grade. I'm not joking. I think this brush has literally been with me for 10 years. Speaking of brushes, one that I did make that is my savior is this Morphe Madison Beer brush. This is the best eyeshadow color in the world. So I use this brush for my inner corner and that is it. And this is what I do. So I look, I always try to look down or like center. <laughs> this is all this brush is for, and then it goes away. And then I have a bit bigger of a brush to do my liner. And I also have not always worn eyeliner, but once I get to a routine, I can't break it. I'm a creature of habit, and I use the exact same shadow color. What I do is I'll look, and I will imagine if I had a really long eyelash coming out from here, like where would it sit, and what would it look like? And so I see like a line in my head, and then I just follow that so so you see kind of how it like aligns with my eyelash i think that's the goal at least so once the eyeliner's on i start to feel a little bit more complete the next step is my highlighter my cream highlighter which is the charlotte tilbury highlighter wand and i just do like two little dots right there and i love highlighter i feel like it just makes me feel like i'm a forest nymph and a fairy and like, who doesn't want to feel like a fairy? I double up on highlighter a little bit. I really like this Glossier one. It's called Play, I think. And it's, it's a very similar thing to what I just did, but it's a little, a slight variation in pigment, I guess. And I put it on with my fingers. I'm going to go in with my mascara. It's called The Lash Slick by Glossier, and it makes my eyelashes look like eyelash extensions. It just fills them out so much. So anyways, now I'm going to my highlighter, and I use this color right here, which I made sure that I would have something that I could use in my inner corner in this palette. And so I throw this into the inner corner, um, I don't do it too much, just a little bit, just enough to get by. This is my favorite lip liner because it matches my lip tone and I can get away with overlining my lips a lot and it doesn't really show. And already you can see this is where my lip is and I go below it. This lip gloss I found from TikTok. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. It's so nice. And I really like to get that Cupid bow. I put it on like my lip liner on my skin, but I, once you put lip gloss on top of that, it looks like your lip. And the last thing that I do, and this is if I'm feeling real fancy, give myself a spray of the same stuff I used the beginning, a light spray, a light spray, Not, nothing too crazy. But my finishing touch, final step of my makeup daily routine is my hoops. I can't leave the house without my hoops. And if I do leave the house without my hoops, it's a very strange, weird day for me. I think I've been wearing gold hoops every day since I was like 15, probably. I just completes my whole because then I can wear sweatpants and still feel like I did something. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much.